guys, it's Sarah. Okay, not only is Donald Trump president, but this video is long overdue. And no, I'm not gonna be talking about the presidential election. I left that to other YouTubers to talk about. I mean, I'd rather talk about Harry Styles than Donald Trump. I mean, let's be honest. But anyway, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past week. Bitches ain't shit and they ain't saying nothing. A hundred motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about Harry Styles at Kendall Jenner's birthday party. Now, for some reason, this is still sparking a lot of drama in the media outlets, saying like, oh, this means Harry's dating Kendall again. It's really annoying, but we're used to it. So obviously we got a few pictures of Harry at the party and also Harry at the Kanye West concert. And apparently Harry was also at Meghan Trainor's party in LA. Okay, so before I get into all the articles about Harry and Kendall being together, I'd like to point out a few things about Harry. So if you look at these pictures, you can clearly see that Harry's hair is growing back, you can see little curls forming, which I'm totally living for, which just proves that Harry only cut his hair for charity and for the movie. He secretly loves his long hair, you know, long hair don't care. And also not only that, let's look at this picture, and it looks like Harry has a hickey on his neck. A freaking hickey. I mean, obviously anyone could argue that Harry got that from anybody, but I mean, I don't think Harry's the type to just let anybody give him a hickey. But I mean, I just can't get over how gorgeous Harry actually looks in these photos. He is glowing. And this guy Snapchatted, one of my new favorite people, nice dude. Which further proves that anybody who meets Harry says he's like the nicest person. But now let's get to what everybody else is saying about Harry and Kendall. So People Magazine said Kendall Jenner's birthday party includes three special guys, Harry Styles, Jordan Clarkson, and Travis Scott. And this says, new from Clever News, Kendall Jenner parties with Harry Styles during birthday. And it's funny because above that you see a picture of Harry and Louis. And then from Hollywood Life, it's says the site reports that Harry party with the birthday girl at Delilah and that she was hanging with him for a while. Do you think Kendall and Harry will get back together? 31% said totally and 69% said nope. I mean, I'm really not surprised that that's the statistic. I mean, really, Harry can't have friends who are girls? Why can't people just leave him alone and let him date who he dates or let him be friends who he wants to be friends with? But I'm gonna read some opinions from other people. So this says, I hate how stereotypical the media is. Oh, a girl and a guy are friends, they must be dating. Friendship may not exist between two people of the opposite gender. Seriously, Harry and Kendall have shown many times through their body language and all the incidents that happened with them that they're friends. They were never dating, it's very obvious. And if they were, then they have a terrible relationship since they've been breaking up and getting back together every month for the past two years. Why does the media choose to ignore when two people of the same gender look extremely coupley and instead chooses to believe any two people of different genders are together? Why can't they see it when it's homosexual couple but can make a heterosexual couple out of any two people who happen to know each other? And they say we're the ones that force sexualities on people. Even if you guys think that's a little preachy, it's actually very true. It's called heteronormativity and it happens a lot, specifically in the media. I think it's funny because people claim that the media is forcing homosexuality on people, you know, like the gay agenda which isn't a thing, but in reality, heterosexuality is everywhere, and it's kind of forced on people from a young age. I'm not gonna get into all of that, but this person's right. This says, Harry and Kendall are friends, however, there are a lot of rumors in the media and fan base saying they were and are in a relationship, even though they have both denied it. However, their friendship isn't ruined by these rumors, because they probably couldn't care less about them, so they continue to regularly hang out. Regardless of whether or not, when they do, a new article is written about their relationship. Harry and Louis are friends, however, a large portion of their fan base believe they're in a relationship. And even though they have both denied it, and I say that, this rumor has ruined their friendship because people thinking they're in a relationship bothers them so much, they're not even friends anymore. Like, you get what I'm trying to say here? Even though throughout their whole friendship they have been constant rumors about them dating, this has not affected how Harry and Kendall interact publicly, because they have nothing to hide. However, apparently when it comes to Harry and Louis dating rumors, it has affected how they interact publicly, because they have got something to hide, and management made them hide it by stopping them interacting and making everyone believe Larry's ruined their friendship, when even if that was the case, it would be impossible because Harry and Louis probably wouldn't care less if people think they're dating, just like Harry and Kendall. Again, that's so true. And this is what antis haven't fathomed yet. Harry gets rumored with every girl who is his friend, and he still hangs out with them. Then when he gets rumored with Louis, they are coincidentally not hanging out. Harry and Kendall have nothing to hide, they're not in a relationship, so they can just go out and hang out. So if you think about it that way, it makes sense. Besides the negative rep that Harry does get in the media, let's talk about the good things that he's done. So this says, Harry contacted a young girl with stage four neuroblastoma, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and he will be emailing her a video recording of himself wishing her well. So the post 
says, well, that was a surreal telephone call. An unknown number, I answered for it to only be Harry Styles ringing from the USA. He wants to do a FaceTime or video recording for Jessica. The way she is at the moment, I have told him that she would benefit more from a recording, which he has said he will do for her and email it to us. My heart. That is beautiful. And obviously this is not the first time that Harry has done like a Skype call or a recording for a fan with some like mental condition or disease or physical condition. I'm just so happy that Harry can take the time out of his busy life and do something so sweet for somebody. It just proves that there still is good in the world. It makes me forget all about that Donald Trump will be our president for four years. So I don't know if Harry's done this recording yet. This information came out like a week ago. I don't know if they'll put it up on the internet. Regardless though, it's so cute. Also regarding Harry, let's talk about the Instagram countdown. So I've been talking about this topic for the past few videos so far and it's been an ongoing thing. So basically according to the pattern, Harry was supposed to like a picture of one person on November 8th. And this says Harry Styles like Niall Horan's photo. So I don't know if we're Reaching, but Harry liked a picture of one guitar. It's not a picture of one person, but it's a picture of one object. I'm not sure if that still counts, but it's still one thing. So it says Harry liked Niall's post with one guitar, and they also said Louis joined the countdown too. And the caption of the photo says, bring your pets to work day. So basically the countdown is over. So I mean, what now? Like, what does this mean? Harry finished the countdown, but what's supposed to happen? Was this like a countdown to the election? Is Harry psychic? Was this like a warning that Trump's gonna be president? Because holy shit, Harry is should have warned us sooner. I could have moved by now. So if you guys know more information about this countdown or what's supposed to happen, then send me an analysis because right now it's just kind of sketchy. Regarding Louis, there's news that he got a new tattoo on his arm. So I think Louis got this tattoo maybe a few days ago and it's of two swallows and they look identical to the ones that Harry has on his chest. Now I don't know if this is Photoshop. Someone just sent it to me. It hasn't caused a lot of chaos in the fandom. So part of me thinks it's fake, but I mean, if it is real, we are considering it a couple tattoo because it's literally the same birds that Harry has. I don't know, tell me down below if this is real or fake. Regarding Cheryl's pregnancy, good news, it sounds like it's not Liam's baby. That's even if she is pregnant. It says, according to host from BBC's The One Show, in an article, they confirmed in September that Cheryl was pregnant with her ex husband's child. It says, however, last night on the show, she failed to confirm. However, anyone that failed to believe she was pregnant, she is. So basically, if it's her ex-husband's baby, then it's not Liam's, obviously. And I don't know why, but I'm just so glad to hear that we don't need another baby scandal, especially in One Direction. I mean, that is too many babies for Harry Styles to handle at the moment. And for my last topic, we're going to talk about Zayn. So obviously, as we all know, Zayn has this new book coming out, his autobiography, basically. And basically, one of the new things we've heard him say is that if he were 17 again, he would not be doing One Direction. So I don't know if he regrets it, but it says Zay Malik says he wouldn't do One Direction if he were 17 again. Zay Malik opened up about his decision to join One Direction back in 2010, saying that if he could go back to that time with the knowledge he has now, he probably wouldn't have signed the contract to become a group. In the past, he revealed that his taste in music was always pretty different from what the band was producing. But now Zayn shared that he had no idea what he was getting himself into when the band first formed. He told ES Magazine that he was completely naive during the whole process of the competition. He said, I was very ignorant at 17, blind beyond my years. I thought going on X Factor meant you won a million pounds and got a contract at the end of it. When asked what advice he would give his 17-year-old self, Zayn then replied a pretty upsetting, don't do it, before adding, I would say, do your research and be a bit more prepared about certain situations before you make a decision. When prompted about whether he would have signed up to the band with the knowledge he has now, Zayn said that despite being grateful for everything the experience has led to, he probably wouldn't have signed the contract. He says, but I probably wouldn't have signed. I would have waited a couple more extra years just so I had that time to just get my head around being a famous person. So I don't know your opinion on this, but with me, I actually respect this answer and what Zayn said. And I actually totally agree with him. I probably would have said the same thing. And Zayn's not saying that he regrets being in the band. He's saying that he was very grateful for all the experience that he's had and what he's led up to. But Zayn is admitting that he was very naive going into the business. And maybe he's saying that it went too fast. He got famous too fast. It was just too much for him. And he wishes it would have planned out differently. So I I totally respect Zayn. I respect his answer. He's a person. And even though Harry, Louis, Liam, and Niall haven't said this, I'm sure that they agree to some extent what Zayn's saying, even if it's not all of it. So that's all the news I have for today. Tell me your thoughts down below. And like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye.